Hello and welcome back to another episode of Aliens Dark Descent. Uh, if you remember, we left off inside the police station. Uh, we just finished up the police station, the bar where we found a hive, uh, ingress point, I believe is what they're called. Um, we need to take the ARC and move to another location. We have a couple different options. We have, we need to save veterinarian McNeil Let's down do what here. we came for and get the hell out of here. Uh huh. We need to save veterinarian McNeil down here and also clear out some of this building. Um, we need to uh, save biologist Everly and clear up this building. And we need to save technician Carmichael and clear up this building. Um, I'm going to leave it up to chat. Who should we More save first? Incoming. Everly, Carmichael, or McNeil? That's a biologist, a technician, or a veterinarian. What do you we say, chat? here to enjoy the view, so move now. Bruh, stop talking. Oh my god. You're so annoying. Stop, right? You know, that's funny because that's the one I was wanting to go for. Technician McCarmichael. Okay, they're saying this one. Just saying this one. Nice spot for a picnic I'm going for what? it. So that's going to be our focus. There's something around. We're going to. Oh, required. wait. No, 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 no. no. All right, it's coming. I didn't mean to call the arc over there. All right. Uh. Oh god, are we welded in here? <laughs> oh no, I messed up everything. Alright, let's that door open. break the weld. Open up, Sesame. Okay, the car just went up there. I guess it's just door gonna open. clear the area and keep Come it safe on, for us. We're not that far away, so we're just gonna make a move. I'm gonna keep them slow and steady. We're gonna move at a walking pace. As we head out. When we do get back to base, I've heard that uh, we'll be able to upgrade our people and um, customize Shit, them. It's coming to us. So I will be able to name them after people in chat. So if you guys want a character named after you, uh, go follow me on uh, kick.com slash Rathnar. that alien okay we're gonna head into this building um actually hang on let's stay near the truck for now we're gonna plan this out so we need to head into this building what do we got we've got a hallway entry point here we've got a barricade here so we're gonna want to barricade here Too quiet. i want to clear out this whole building and i think we went through here once before and we went up this way, and we went straight to this elevator. So we still need to clear out. So we'll clear this room. Oh, there's an entry point right here. So we can clear this room. Come in here. Secure uh, technician Carmichael. Clear this Let's room. Do what we came for. Come Get out here. Out clear this room. Clear this room. Clear this room. Clear this room. I think this room's already been cleared because we went through there originally to get up the elevator. But we'll go through and we'll double check it, and then we can push back out. That'll be the plan. All right. Come on, team. Coming to us. You're gonna steal that tech that uh tactic? Strategy? Not a bad one. Go ahead. Alright. So chat was asking, like, what is the concept of this game? What's going on? Basically, these aliens have spawned and they're killing people. What we're doing right now is we've come into Oh. Okay. Uh that's not good. That's a uh, Ingress point. That's where monsters come from. I'm gonna put down a motion tractor. Tractor? <laughs> motion tracker. So we can tell if an uh, alien comes out of here. Setting up motion tracker. Hopefully they don't come out right now because that'll motion be bad. Tracker deployed. There is an alien down there. Uh, we're going to get into this room. Watch out, Scott. Those egg things were on Pioneer Station. I think that's the origin of the infestation. Squad, clear that nest and get to the friendly. But watch yourselves. Safe position taken. Wait, but what? There's... Carmichael from the cocoon. Move on. What? <laughs> Isn't a cocoon? Okay. They're headed our way. Let's 
How do we... Okay, hang on. Okay. So what we're looking at here... We've got this guy stuck in a cocoon here. We need to get him out. There's these egg things that are going to pop and see us. The problem is, is that there's aliens walking around out here as well. So, real quick, I was telling chat, um, the concept of this game is that these aliens have kind of spawned and, like, um, bred out of humans in this, in the, in, on this planet. And they got on one of the ships up in the sky, and that's where we were at up in space they got on one of the ships got up to space and we're trying to leave the planet um we took out all the ships in space to protect them from leaving the planet and keeping the uh contagion here we can't we crash landed back down on the planet and now we're trying to save who we can on the planet so that's where technician carmichael comes in right um however we also don't want to die uh so these alien things will find you they'll hunt you down and kill you they're fast and they're mean, and we are playing this on extreme difficulties, so it's it's tough. Grenade! Watch out. Oh god, I'm out of command points. Get him, 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 get him. Oh my god, there are so many! What the fuck? There are... Okay, oh, alright. Feels so good having the ARC. <laughs> Extreme difficulty next to a no death run on XCOM 2. Get out of here with your foolishness. I thought I could do it. I think we're spotted. Okay. I'm trying to think like what is the best way to do this. You know what's probably the best way to do this is, um, let's put, let's put the motion tracker here motion tracker. so we can pull them out into the fire Setting of the gun. Tracker. Yeah? Motion tracker we'll pull them pull. that way instead of right to our door. That's a much better idea, I think. Slow and steady, slow and steady. Be smart about this. Move on. Okay, things are gonna get hot. We're gonna pop in here and they're gonna be trying to spot us. We're gonna have to kill them. Watch out, squad. Those egg things were on Pioneer Station. I think that's the origin of the infestation. Squad, that nest to get to the That gun is a frickin' lawnmower. Right now. The hive is restless. Be careful. Flares give an accuracy bonus when shooting at xenomorphs near them. When you can anticipate where the xenomorphs would come from, use a flare to increase their accuracy. And we... Off that. Oh god, we just we can't. Hurry up, squad! Run. <laughs> I think we're spotted. More think signals so too. incoming. Oh, they're running. They're on us. I see him back here. They're right behind us. Come on, team! It's a drone! Suppressor flip. Suppressor fire! Brought him out to the to the ARC. Much smarter. Good plan. They headed our way. On slot closing in. Uh okay, I need to kill. How do I kill?
Hive has launched a hunt. That doesn't sound great either. <laughs> okay, bring him out to the air sea was definitely the smarter call here. He launched a hunt. I don't know what that means. Can't say I'm the biggest fan of it either. Alright, let's push back in and see if we can get to Come on, team. I'm curious, is there a way, is there a button? Or uh do, 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 do. No, okay. I was seeing if there was one to like clear the HUD so I could get some cool like screenshots. I think we're spotted. We are hunting over here somewhere. I don't hear them anymore. We're clear. Stress is going up. Why don't we go Hold ahead and you shall not pass, rest? Door secure. Roger. Oh God! Look right here. More signals incoming. We're too late. Way too late. He was infested. No chance, squad lead. You know what to do. Ah! Let him off! Dead, the survivor was infected. You couldn't have saved him. Can I not rest in here? That was that was the whole point, though. I weathered both doors. I wanted Let's to rest. Let's do what we came for and get the hell out of here. Or we rest. Damn it! I guess we can't. Okay. Pro room is up that way. I wanted to go up that way anyway. But the source of the infestation retreated the surveillance. That's the ingress point, so we just should know that we got another one coming out of there. What's his plan? Not gonna come through this door, are you? Move on! No, it looks like he's buggering on past. Cut that door open. Really upset we couldn't door open. Weld that off. Technically, we came this way once before. Um, this room hasn't been cleared yet. Stay frosty, Marines. Clear it while we have a chance. Don't need any of that. Nothing else in here? Alright. Push back out. Move on! We went up that elevator before. Fucking Wayland Yutani. Watching you work, rest, and play. I bet you're glad for it now. I'm not, not glad. Not, not glad. Not, not. Did you get an extra tool? Alright. That'll help us with uh, activating the cameras. Strict camera feeds from the security terminal. Roger. Actually gonna weld these doors. Oh no, actually, hang on, I'm not. Uh, I don't have the tools for it. 
shit is coming to us. Check the map. What do we need? We need to clear this room. And that will basically wrap up this building. Got They're cameras we can in. check. Move on. Trying to breach through a door we're not at. That's okay. I think we're spotted. Does this door lead outside? No. Leads into something else. Okay. Shit. Fuck it's you. coming to us. Let's see what's inside. Oh my god, that's like right behind us. Just give me a tool. Yeah, I could weld these doors. Actually, it might not be a bad idea. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna that door. weld these way. doors and rest. You shall not pass, fuckers. Or door welded, door secured. Whatever's in there comes and binds me. Rest. Okay. I think this is how you save. Yeah, progress will be saved, and we so drop down our stress, which my guys were at like fifty percent stress. Ooh. God, I'm stressed. What what relieves my stress? Tabs <laughs> over. Move your asses. Come on, team. All right, we're gonna break Cut the weld on this one. Open up, Sesame. We need to clear this room, and then wiggle our way back door out clear. to the ark. There's something around. Roger. Let's see what's inside. They're headed our way. Ammo, we got the data pad. Let's check that. Terminal correspondence, maintenance number two. From technician first class Emily Trainer to Supervisor Harrison Tolliver. We've got some kind of strange residue building up in the lower vents. I sent Gotham. Yeah, Gotham, to take a look. But he flat out refused. Said it gave him the creeps. Then again, he's always been claustrophobic. Shouldn't even be on the maintenance crew at all, but it's not like we have many candidates around here. I'll give him a talking to, and if that doesn't work, I'll deal with the matter myself. Basically, all we need to do is get out to the Ark. Something over here. Is the ingress so point right here, so we gotta be careful of that. Just get back Move out here on. to the Ark. We'll be all right. I'm gonna go to the map. I have multiple signals. There was an ingress point there. I thought so. Okay. Um, we got a camera like here. Got some supplies by the admin building. Okay, supplies by the admin building. Apparently, we didn't go in there and get that. No, we never went around that way. But that's like way out of the way. We have to come all the way back here and then all the way up there. I mean, yeah, quiet. a lot of them in here. Can't be sure, but it looks like there's some ammunition still in the armory. Yeah, we got all that. Put it to use. We did get all that. Um, there's something else still in there. A tool, a tool, which wouldn't be the worst. I am short on tools right now. Uh, supply, supply, supply. There's so we, something around. we could go here, get these two tools, go down here, make our way up to these supplies. Why don't we do that? Let's go ahead and uh, redeploy. Here. All right, enemy is on the way, so we should encounter some hostiles. All these dead aliens around us, man. That's crazy. Oh, we're going the long way. Oh no. Facing the wrong way? Oh, I was facing I was looking the wrong way. I was totally confused. You safe right here? No. 
Enemies in here. Come on, team. Now that's what I'm talking about. Where else are they coming from? Far. Hurry up, you slugs. Looks like they found us. Light him up. They hit our way. Hoo ha. Oh, you got like close. They They're headed our way. Mine's bigger. All right. Thank God for the ARC. <laughs> Let's get a move on. Move on. Run for tools. They headed our way. One tool here. One Copy. tool here. Let's see what's inside. One, two. This will at least give us enough to make a uh, safe room, so we can save. Hurry up, squad! Deploy and try and get to the uh, here. We're gonna There's push up around. these supplies. It's seen them. Good job, guys. Stress is already up, and we just saved. That's crazy. It might be worth actually leaving letting everybody recover and bring a second squad out to clear the other buildings that might be worthwhile what do you guys think of that that might not be a bad plan actually real quick in there all right so our plan is to go around these buildings I'm hoping with him here if anything tries to chase us up here I don't see any other way they can really get in here so I'm hoping they have to go by the ARC and it will stop them I'm feeling this isn't going to be as easy as we think, though, so. Head on a swivel. It's quiet. Too quiet. I agree. Making our way downtown, walking on, slow, team. aliens out. And. Got something on a track. Oh. Blow them. Da, 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 da. Nailed it. Alright, they're inside this building. We don't need to worry about that so much. They're not. Don't worry. Exactly what these supplies are even used for quite yet, but let's see what's inside. It'll be good to have them nonetheless. Alright, got all that. Let's check another camera. What do we got in here? Looks like we've already opened that and grabbed it. Yeah, we cleared out that building. We didn't even leave anything else. There's uh, medical supplies, but I think we're good on medical supplies, if I remember right. Um.
Well, yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> Okay, we have a More signature suspicious container. Oh, okay, that's for, for the slaughterhouse. Nice yeah. Veterinary McNeil's in there. They're up there. No more cameras. All right, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the squad out because we've cleared out this half. We'll pull the squad out. And we're bringing a second squad for this half. Yeah. One extraction. Here, gains so far. Medical supplies four, tools two, sentry gun zero, so material seventy, xeno sample zero. Uh, Marines all leveled up. You'll be able to continue this mission on future deployments. Confirm. Got something on a track. Thirty-eight percent on this expedition. Okay, so not quite fifty percent. <laughs> uh, objectives eight out of fourteen, though, so we are over fifty on that. Data pad seven out of nineteen. Deactivate the emergency lockdown. Investigate the suspicious container. Done. Save engineer O'Neill. Done. Save technician Carmichael. Done. Enter Dead Hills. Done. Reactivate the colony Satcom. Done. Save engineer McCallan. Done. Uh, save security guard Torrance. Done. Find the source of the infestation. Done ones we missed so far are save biologist Everly and save veterinarian Neil. Marine report. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, marine report. Uh, three wounded. It's not great. Two days in medbay, one day in medbay, one day in medbay. Okay, but we do have some promotions. So, uh, they're tired. This is bravery and uh, accuracy. Promote people. Does this do? Where does Ezekiel Smith level two upgrades? Available upgrade slot. Go to the barracks to assign an upgrade. Attribute common. Give them a mind of steel. Marine automatically has heals one trauma point per campaign. Sourceful. Finds one ammo clip after each rest. Dead eye. Marine's critical and dismemberment chances increase by thirteen percent. Let's go with that one. I'll have a good sniper. Uh, okay. Uh, done. E. McDonald. Okay. Can't do anything with those until I go to the barracks. Unbreakable will. The marine is longer, no longer subject to the tired effect. Uh, smartass grants access to the hack interaction option. The marine has the ability to ha unlock encrypted doors. But tough. This is marine maximum health. I like smartass in the hack. Uh, L sharp. Leon sharp. Team spirit increases. The reserve command points by one for every two marines in the squad with this attribute. For every two marines. Okay. Marines with team spirit, zero. Smart ass, we know what that one does. And sharpshooter. It has a star next to it. This is the marines' maximum accuracy by five. I wonder if the star is good. Um, I really like team spirit, but I'm going to go with the star. I don't know what it means. But we'll see. Private Jessica Webb. Smart ass, hardened level one increases the marines maximum armor points. Sourceful, like resourceful. 
but Harden has a star. <laughs> I don't know if that's like more rare or what. There you go. Inventory report. Plus one engineer rescued and plus one recruit Duncan Torrance rescued. All the materials. So are we going to be able to take Duncan Torrance on a mission? Squad status ratio. Ooh, mission duration. Is that one hour, 16 sec minutes, 54 seconds? Um, let's see. Three face huggers. 37 drones. Damn. We spent 85% undetected. We spent 1.6% detected. We spent 2% trapped and 11% hunted. I mean, I think that's pretty good. Spent, is that how much we used? 920 bullets. Fuck, gotta get better with their accuracy. <laughs> So, hostile critters or wiped out colony? Hunslet being Hunslet? How'd you find your first day in the core? I don't know. It's a lot to take in. If it helps, you're doing okay. Thank you. I'm glad it's over. My nerves are shot. Oh, it ain't never over. But for now, we got some time. Good. Gives me a chance to work on the comms. If only we could hear from Director Price and Pharaoh Spire. We could use her help. Dr. Becker's been trying the whole time we were deployed. It turns out most long-range transmitters are down. If someone's home at Pharos, they probably can't pick up. Do you think those things can be there too? Judging by what happened on Pioneer, it's clear that they're spreading extremely fast. Then you'd better get familiar with the Otago right now. We can't give those creatures the benefit of time. All right. Hey, Claymore, how you doing? Welcome back. Um, can't deploy. Go to laboratory to unlock deployment. Unassigned physicians in med base. So let's go to med bay. Have a nice day, Thank Deputy you. Administrator Hayes. I want to get some of these people. So the med bay is where wounded Marines are sent to recover. Now, we can get these guys back up and running by assigning someone to them. Because Elizabeth McDonald is tired, recovering patient, one day left. For every time you assign a physician, it recovers one day, right? This one's a priority. Understood. We'll take you off, and we'll take you. Oh, am I out? I'm out of. Uh, I'm out of physicians. Okay. You discovered. Yeah, I can't assign any more. These two are just gonna have to meet class. Oh, I see. You can organize them. Um, Talk to you soon. Before I go Hello, to the laboratory. Administrator Hayes. Anything you can do from the command deck. This just tells me campaign progress, 3%. Okay, available Marines. We have nine available Marines. Okay, so we've got a team available ready to go for the next mission. Two wounded in mid-bay, four are still tired. Which means five should be good to go, I think. Which means we'll have a team for the next mission. That's great. Have a nice day. Total of the Deputy workshop. Administrator Hayes. Need a gun, Administrator? I don't think so. Ooh, special weapons, the incinerator unit and the mine. Let's check out the incinerator unit. M240 incinerator unit. Any class. Range 5 to 15 meters. Burning damage 5 to 10 per second. Enemy burning duration 4 seconds. Burst duration 3 seconds. Area burning duration 30 seconds. Associated skill incineration. Requires the level 2 marine. Costs 100 supplies. Okay. We don't have that. We have 80. 80? Yeah. And the mine. The gem 80 mine. Any class special weapon. Activation radius 2.5 meters. Inner blast damage 20 to 35. Outer blast damage 15 to 30. Inner blast dimension. Dismemberment chance. Whew. 50%. Outer blast dismemberment chance 50%. Okay. Associated skill mine. The marine places the mine on the ground, which is activated by closing uh, enemies. The mine then explodes, dealing a great amount of damage. The closest marine equipped with a flamethrower fires flames with an determined area. Directly select a location to fire in a straight line or drag and drop a set of firewall damage. Oh, that's cool. 
Oh, sniper. That's what I want. We'll look at that one in a bit. All right, let's head over to the laboratory. See you around. Ah, administrator. I wanted to. Oh, going that that late. I'll get back to you on that. Can I do something for you? Actually, yes. I was hoping you might persuade Sergeant Harper to retrieve some samples of the creatures. Oh, one can never have too much information about one's enemies. I didn't know you worked in corporate espionage, Doctor. <laughs> Very droll. On the other hand, I do find that science and skullduggery have a surprising overlap. Both require focus and a keen eye for detail. One supposes. True enough. And you're right. We need more information on these things. I'll talk to the sergeant. Have a nice day, Administrator. Chief Engineer Corrigan, isn't it? We met before. Oh, it's you. Sorry about that, I... You had your hands full. Things look better now. They are. Came together faster than I thought. Ain't pretty, but we're functional and, I hope, stable. Harper told me we got splashed after some kind of failure in the planetary quarantine protocol. Something called Cerberus? That's what's going around, certainly. More <laughs> corporate corner cutting. What a fucking mess. Anyway, I should be able to produce equipment for our Marines now. Anything I can do to help? Well, I don't think this ship will ever be spaceworthy again. But that doesn't mean we have to abandon her. It could be shelter, you know? For these people. For us. The only problem is dear Otago took a beating. I got holes to patch, cables to reconnect. Our cryo chambers, our shield, their history. In short, we're missing materials. Spare parts to turn into upgrades for both our guys and the ship. Look, no promises. But we could ask the Marines to check for materials in Dead Hill storehouses during their next visit. It all helps. Need a gun, Administrator? Okay, we're good here. We've done that. Let's go to the See barracks. You around. Administrator Hayes. What brings you to my corner of the Otago? Sergeant Harper says I should take a look around. He's probably trying to keep me busy. Yeah, the devil loves idle hands. I can't give you a tour. We're still digging through the wreckage. How does it look? Well, we've more portable weapons than we've got Marines to carry. So if you find anyone out there with training, you point them in my direction. As for the ordinance, it's pretty much scrap. What about the emergency escape vehicles? <laughs> that satellite relay idea of yours, huh? Yeah, Harper told me. If we can get the fuel linkages repaired, we might salvage one EEV. But I'd be damned before I let you play with the only life pod we have left. And how useful is a single life pod on a crashed ship exactly? Yeah, you're pretty convincing. I'll give you that. All right, take it. But keep me updated. Looking for someone in particular? I'm so curious where he, how he got that scar. It's a very particular scar. Barracks is now available. You've been granted exceptional, exceptional materials. Buy your first upgrade for a Marine. Click the highlighted Marine. Yeah, we went up 20. Ian McDonald, currently tired. This one won't let you down. Marine can carry a limited number of upgrades. That number increases with the Marine's ranks. Select an available upgrade slot. The list of upgrades for Marine will increase depending on the Marine's level and class. Select an available upgrade and hold to confirm your choice. Can I see what I gave them? A coward. I don't remember what I gave this person as far as their, um... Clothes? No. I don't want to pick something that isn't great for... Uh, man, okay. Um, increases the Marines' accuracy for five points. Increases the ammo capacity. For each Marine with this attribute in the squad, the maximum capacity of medical supplies and tools is increased. Increases the number of bullets in each primary weapon ammo clip. I think accuracy is going to be the big one. Only costs 30, that's not bad. Increase their accuracy. Work to Sergeant Harper in the command deck. We know you're, you're tired for two days. We know you're a coward. Their bravery is reduced by two per aggressive, aggressiveness level. You got a pulse rifle, service pistol, and a shotgun. I wonder how we get to secondary weapons. We didn't look at that. Accuracy is at 40%. Not great. Armor is at 2%. Bravery is at 0. 
Oh, is this where we get to customize? Hang on. <gasps> Guys, I don't know how long this video is, but we're about to customize some people. We finished up. What we have is we have Private Beautiful Disaster. Um, no real specialties to any of these people yet. They're all very basic, just the same. Uh, the only one is she ended up getting a level up from the uh, tutorial. We gave her aiming shot, which increased her marines accuracy. After that, we have Private Rathnar Daddy. Let's go. Private Mr. Grunkle Pickles. Private Fred Torvekic. Rookie Shifty Wilfer. Rookie Tough Nuts Nimwort. Rookie Adis Adarag. Rookie Tiger of the Gale. Rookie Falcon X93. Rookie Brad Chison. Rookie Kira the Dog. And that wraps up our party so far. So, uh, let's go ahead and actually, we have some available supplies, right? I'd like to increase my accuracy, I think. Yeah. Uh, hold. Okay. I'm tired, so I'm out. I'm also, wait, a conspirator? Stress relieved by each Marine during arrest is reduced by 10 points? Well, that's shit. <laughs> Guess I should have looked at that. Pickles is clumsy. Yeah, that fits. Alien detection time is reduced by 10%. Does not stack with other bonuses of the same type. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Do I want to upgrade... How much... How much supplies do I have right now? Cost 30. I have 50 left. I'm going to hold on. Oh, I'm going to hold on to the rest. Uh, we'll go to the command deck. Report to Sergeant Harper in the command deck. Bye, ma'am. Troops! Eddie! Back from your tour? How'd it go? Pretty good, I think. Dr. Becker requested some samples of the creatures for study. And Chief Corrigan is in need of components to turn this ship into a proper base. I thought you were all about getting your message out. There's nothing to say we can't do the one so long as it doesn't endanger the other. Is there? True enough. All right. Let's go back to Dead Hills. I have a feeling we missed something there. The same feeling you have when these creatures come around, Sergeant? This is hardly the moment, Deputy Administrator. Listen, Sergeant Harper. Your abilities, they could be tied to this outbreak. If there are more like you out there, we could help. People should know. They have the right to you know. You mind your own business, Hayes, and I'll take care of mine. You have a relay to find, and I have men to lead. We both have a part to play. This conversation's over. Damn. More to do there. A day must pass before a new deployment is available. That's enough for today. Next day. Planet infestation level one. New objectives are awaiting your review. An abandoned lab, day two, we have located a makeshift laboratory in a colony that could contain Xeno samples. We need to go on a gathering mission. Earn 15 Xeno samples but we lose the deployment. Or don't go on a gathering mission, no effect. Lose the deployment. Gain 15 Xeno samples. I guess we'll, I mean, this is for science we're gonna learn. Go on a gathering mission, we'll lose our deployment for today, but we will gain 15 Xeno samples from this abandoned lab. Gathering yeah, mission was a success. 15 Xeno samples retrieved. There's a bunch of stuff in the codex. We're not going to worry about that just yet. What I want to do is maybe Have a laboratory. Nice day. Deputy this. Administrator Hayes. He's the guy who wanted these, right? Cool. Why did I go get. Xeno samples are used to study Xenotech projects and activate Xenotech for your squad when deployed. 
Have a nice day, Administrator. Need a gun, Administrator? Xenotech projects? What projects? See you around. Administrator Hayes. This one's a priority. Understood. We we're able to get Grunkle healed up. Stay safe, okay? But it's gonna do it for this one. And next day. New objectives are awaiting your review. The Otago sensors have detected an unusual peak of energy in an abandoned outpost relay station nearby. We could go investigate. One of the following will earn 50 materials, or earn turn 10 Xeno samples, rescue one random survivor, but we'll lose our deployment. I'm gonna say no, because we need to go on another. We need to go to Dead Hills. Signal was ignored. Sorry, bud. One deployment left. Operations ready in the following areas. Yep. Planet infestation progress with each passing day. Each time the planet infestation gauges reaches a new threshold, the overall difficulty for the new location will increase. Well, that sounds terrible. So yeah, we need to deal with dead hills before it becomes a problem. Can I not? There we go. Save biologist Everly. Find materials for the Otago. Save veterinarian McNeil. Investigate the suspicious container. We still have a couple more objectives and data pads. Bunch of res uh, resources, materials, and Xenotech. Understood. Uploading mission data. Command deck. Entry points. Once you have deployed your squad on a particular mission, you will be able to select your squad's entry point in future deployments. Select an entry point to deploy your squad. Oh, are these entry points? Living quarters, first floor. No, these are... What, what is this? I've already been there. Very confused. Um, I think we're gonna go here. Deal with this building. And then we can arc move. Deal with this one. These ones. Go here. That. I don't know. We're gonna pick, pick right there. Mission we did. Okay. Mineshaft. What? It's the bottom floor. And yeah, we haven't finished upstairs yet. Still this room and this room that we didn't get to. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to go there. Build squad. Who are we going to take with us? Okay. We'll take in maybe two experienced, two rookies. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll take, uh, we'll take Wrath and... Sure, we'll take Wrath and Disaster next time. And then we're gonna go for yeah we want to go for uh some newer level ones let's get uh have wrath and disaster bring maybe let's bring the boys nimwer and adarag it's tough nuts and a deece um yes yeah, so what do you have you have weak reduces the marines ammo cup capacity by one that's tough and jinx with each burst the marines weapon has a 0.5 percent chance of jamming <laughs> that's shitty <laughs> what are these terrible traits i hope we can get better traits for these guys at some point these do have better accuracy and that's great Dead eye level one. The Marines' critical and dismemberment chances are increased by ten percent. Smart ass grants the chance to be able to hack. Okay, so two leveled up ones, two rookies, uh, privates rookies. Yeah. Collect inventory. Uh, we'll take two of each. Put it recommended. We'll go with that. Launch mission.
Listen up, squad. Tactical situation's been updated. First up, I want to get Dr. Becker some samples of these creatures. Give us a better idea of what we're dealing with. Second, if there's anything here we can use to patch up the Otago, 